is what I woke up to at about 3 o'clock this morning. Rather disturbing. Um, I've never experienced anything like this directly before. Um, somebody obviously came in between about 11 o'clock when I went to bed last night and spray painted my front door. Not really sure what to say. It's just a really deeply hurtful experience to wake up to this kind of message. Um, I'm covering it back up because I take care of a two-year-old and I don't actually want to explain the pictures on the door to her. Um, but, ah, yeah, it's... Uh, rather alarming to have this kind of experience happen to me directly and also to have it happen here in Ottawa. But as uh, I've shared with others already this morning, I really think that the president-elect south of the border has kind of opened the Pandora's box to people feeling more comfortable expressing their hatred to uh, others, um, about others, about anybody different than themselves, anything they don't understand. Um, and this is just an example of that, um, where people feel because others in power have had the permission granted to them to speak about their bigotry, their racism, their sexism, to speak um, horribly about women and others and not be censored for it, that it's okay for everyone to do that. Um, however, as the campaign message often said um, over the last few weeks, love trumps hate. And my response is to go on with my day and continue to do what I normally do, which is to be a spiritual leader, care for children and mothers and families in this community, and just hope that whoever did this um, has an opportunity to speak to somebody about why they feel so hurt that they need to strike out to someone whom they don't know, um, probably have never encountered or only encountered uh, minimally, and really come to a, a greater level of self-awareness. Uh, hurt people hurt people. So I have a, some compassion for this person knowing that people who do these kinds of acts are hurting themselves and need to have the, need to have the attention that comes from this kind of activity.